How's it going guys? Welcome back to another one bar build in Gadonia. Today we're going to be using the Conquest armor set. Let's dive in and check out the armor. The armor of Conquest. Looks very elvish in design. A little bit of that Lord of the Rings sort of feel to it. All right, let's check out the armor's unique bonuses. When you have two pieces of the Armor of Conquest, explosive arrows apply effect on companions, which burns enemies around and also increase their damage. You can also get one more companion in your group if you wear two pieces of this armor. With five pieces of the armor, cross arrows apply absorbing shields on companions, which absorbs up to 50% of their health. The Armor of Conquest does favor companions. The more companions you have, the stronger that they will be, especially when you're using the explosive and frost arrows on them. So the stats of the armor itself, pretty decent to accuracy. You get your health boost, pretty poor stamina boost, not too bad range damage. You get a bit of movement speed, attack and cast speed, and also your jump height is increased. So let's move on to accessories. For the cloak, I picked the King's Cloak, which increases your critical strike chance by 7%. Also a hefty boost to your health, and also for this build, 160% range damage. Now with the King's Cloak, if you didn't know, you can get this by doing the Warrior Faction quest line, or it can be a random drop from dig sites. So moving on to other trinkets, I went with the Ursine set. Pretty sure it's called Ursine or Ursine. I'm gonna keep calling it Ursine. So I went with the Ursine set and two items of the Ursine set. Your Spirit Bear now lasts 300% longer. With all four items, you can spawn up to three bears at a time. So that's pretty crazy. Three Spirit Bears. This set increases the damage to nature magic spells, also boosts up your mana. All right, on to the weapon. So the living weapon I picked is the Chainer. So every arrow has a chance to chain enemies around it, immobilizing them. Chained enemies receive damage over time, and after some time, chained enemies explode. This does a lot of damage, 185 damage per hit. It speeds a bit slow, which is a bit of a downfall. Gives you a hefty boost to stamina, and also your crit damage multiplier. All right, let's check out the skills. All right, for skills, we're going to start in the Arcane Tree. So I just went with Blink level 3, but then I made it Evasive Blink, which replaces Blink. Blink replaces our basic dodge, so we can actually just use Blink instead of dodge. We can Blink in any direction. Every Blink applies an effect of Arcane Instability, which increases the mana cost of the next Blink by 200%. So we shouldn't have to Blink too much with this build. But moving on, we've got Mana Replenishment level 2. So this just increases our passive mana regeneration by 300%. Then in the Arch, tree tree we have careful preparation which causes our exploding arrows multi-shot and frost arrows to now have three stacks instead of one very handy to have next up we have exploding arrow level three exploding arrows will stun enemies for three seconds next up is frost arrow so our next arrows will freeze enemies and slow them down by 75 percent for 20 seconds then we have our mastery skill master archer which just lets us move while we're shooting handy and quality of life next up we have archery level five which just increases our range damage by 70 percent next up in defense we have survivability level two slight increase to our health and also defense master which will give us 30 percent more health then in speech we have encouraging speech level three which increases the player and allies health and armor the charisma stat increases the effectiveness and level three just increases the effect even more. Next up, we have pressure level two. So each time we attack, we have a chance to verbally abuse our target, decreasing its damage. So the charisma stat increases the effectiveness of this skill as well. And also the mastery skill, loud speech. Pressure has an increased effect and applies to all enemies around not just a single target. Then we have charm. Each time we attack, we have a small chance to charm the target, forcing them to stop attacking for eight seconds. And the charisma stat also increases the effectiveness of this skill as well. Next up, we have nature damage. So we got Spirit of the Bear, which of course, with our trinkets, we can summon up to three and also 
they last 300% longer. But if nature element is applied, it can heal us and aggro the enemies. But if we have the beast element applied, it just applies a damage buff to allies. Next up, we have Bark and Thorns. So for 30 seconds, this increases their armor of the player and makes all enemies receive damage if they attack the player in melee. It absorbs a certain amount of damage and then disappears. But we also got the mastery skill Powerful Thorns. Increases the duration, damage absorb and damage of bark and thorns makes it apply instantly for the whole party but everyone will get bark and thorns then next up we have nature element level two and this is just going to be our buff that's set on ourselves and this will slowly restore health and apply nature effects to our abilities so our summon spirit bear it'll heal us as well which is very handy to have so we've got a bit of healing with this build next up we have grow flower defender so this will just grow a flower 25 seconds which will attack enemies nearby firing or biting and slowing them in close range it will also heal the player if it's near so a little bit more healing for this build next up we have nature power level 5 just increases our nature spells by 70 percent then in talents we have five points in health bonus gives us 500 health five points in stamina bonus which gives us 375 stamina five points in mana bonus which increases our mana by 375 five points in range damage bonus which increases our range damage by 250 percent five points in magic bonus which increases our damage by 125 percent and also and also two points in speed bonus which increases our attack speed by six percent and movement speed by 0 0.5 all right let's see what this build can do What we want to do is put on our nature element buff. We can go and gather as much enemies here as we can. Start summoning our spirit bears. Hopefully we can get three. Nice. Put on thorns. Buff them up with encouraging speech. Also put on our explosive arrow and frost arrows and then we can buff them up so then our spirit bears are a lot stronger then we can put down our our defender so our spirit bears will be doing a lot of damage and even buff them up even more with some explosive arrows get another defender in there oh the shields are worn off we might as well put some more shields on them slow down some more enemies here might as well put another defender down because they can heal them as well our thorns have run out, so we can put them back on. Might as well use encouraging speech. Get that back on. So yeah, as you can see, this does a lot of a lot of damage. And our spirit bears haven't even gone down. So they are strong. If you use actual companions with this build as well, all of your companions are gonna be a lot stronger. Really wouldn't mind taking that guy down. The spirit bears have disappeared. That is fine. Almost get them back. Just want to keep taking them out. Got chains too, so it is holding them back. And take a little bit of a hit. Summon our bears again. Put on thorns, encouraging speech. Get stuck on a rock. Get them all buffed up with that explosive arrow. And you can just see them just absolutely dominate. Oh, we got one more. All right. Let's see how they fare. No, he is actually stuck. 
All right, let's see how all the spirit bears go with just this guy. Can we go him? So they are dominating. They do a fair bit of damage. That's just the spirit bears by themselves. So they can rip apart enemies pretty quickly. And as I said before, if you have more companions, you'll be doing a hell of a lot more damage. I think this is a pretty solid build, especially if you have a lot of companions in your group this is gonna really pay off because if you can strengthen your companions they'll just hold aggro and you just can keep blasting pretty much the only downside is if you don't have companions you're sort of going to struggle a little bit but as you saw the spirit bears can be enough and also you can have one more companion but i'm not going to do any of these videos with companions it's just going to be the one character but you will be stronger with a companion but let me know what you guys think all right guys that's going to do it for me I hope you guys enjoyed this build as much as I enjoyed making it. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. And I hope to see you in the next one. All right, guys, take care.